Hello, Amiibros, this is Jason of Game and & Shocks, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii! So, last time we did the Hidden Star in Beach Bowl Galaxy, and we also went to Buoy Base Galaxy, where we got all two of its stars. So now we're going to continue on as we do the Prankster Comets in both Beach Bowl Galaxy, and we get to dance. And, we also, and we're also going to do the Prankster Comet in Battle Rock Galaxy, and we're also going to start the first, I think, three or four chapters of the storybook in the library. So now, let's dance. So let's go talk to Mail Code. Because, you, again, you can never have enough lives. Because we always get the same exact letter. I don't know how many of these letters Peach writes in a day, but it's fine. Because we get five one-ups. You know what? This time, let's press no. I want to see what happens. Okay, then. Th these will be emergency rations for the Toad Brigade. Come see me next time there's a letter. Oh. The Toad Brigade is gonna use them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, also, something I forgot to mention in the last video. Notice how in the last video there were no nunchuck problems? Yeah, I got a new nunchuck in the previous video. That's why I don't have. That's why I don't have any problems this time. Look at this. I'm doing. I'm. Do, I can do everything I can with the nunchuck without him going like, "Hey, connect the nunchuck back in, Jason." And then I just screamed at the game like, "I have my nunchuck in." All right, so eat up, Lars. All right, let's go. Let's head off to to Battle Rock Galaxy and do the Daredevil Comet. So, usually these Daredevil comets are bosses. This is a quick heads up, because I remember a lot of, a lot, of, if, if not pretty much all of them, except for I think one Daredevil comet is a boss. Um, so, so let's, let's just go. Top Maniac's Daredevil run. So, I think this is our first Daredevil run of the game. Uh, is it? Yeah, it is. I just think about it, like the previous prankster comments we did. Uh, so, behold, the first Daredevil run of the game. So, welcome to the galaxy, and welcome to your handicap for the entire level. Die. Well, you, you're probably, you might die in one of the Daredevil comments, but uh, get hit once and you die. <laughs> uh, so, let's, just, let's head up, because that's what we do while we're here. Uh, so let's let's go up and see Top Maniac because we need to be maniacs ourselves. Ha! No. All right, let's go. Hey, Top Maniac. Oh no, it's an evil Beyblade. Oh no! Yeah, get him. Get him. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Okay, I do not suck this bad at aiming. Yeah. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, I don't know what was what was with me doing that, but uh, I am not this bad at this boss. This boss is easy. It's just it just so happens that I keep getting hit by, by crap. Okay, uh, come here. Yeah, I missed. Yeah, come on, get him. All right, that's hit number two. Now stay away from the center, or else he will kill you. Uh, so let's get him again. No, no. Okay, how is- okay. Really? Really, Top Man? Really? Okay, maybe I should have grabbed, um... Maybe I should have grabbed the... Five one-ups from Mail Toad. This is gonna become- this is gonna become a, 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 the biggest regret of the entire Let's Play. Is it, now? Is it? I don't know. But let's- but let's try again. Cause, cause, you know what they say, you can always give someone a second chance. So let's just try again. Uh, you know what, maybe you just try like shooting Starvis at, at these small guys. Uh, yeah! Or just killing them. Uh, God, no, 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 no! Okay, so they don't harm you. They don't really harm you, per se. Uh, yeah! Get him! Yeah! Just, I'm just gonna go yeah to the entire boss. Alright, now to get these guys, because these guys are gonna get on my nerves. If I don't kill them. Uh, yeah! Get him! Get it! Oh, I got a, I, I got a one up out of this. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So yeah, pretty easy. I, it just so happens that I just suck at times. <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, pretty easy, boss. I mean, I died, but that was because that was kind of my fault. I didn't really expect. I should have just shot the topman out of the way. 
But what are you gonna do? It's now in the past. So there we go. There we go. We're now daredevils. We got our star. Now let's leave. And of course, my singing is still awful. Because what do you expect? You expect it to be bad. And there you go, let's get the sweat off of my forehead. And then there we go. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And we got more star bits. Save the game? Yes. Why would you not want to save the game? I mean, <laughs> if it gives you the option, you're pretty much always gonna say yes. Unless you're like, wait a minute, do I want to save here? You know what? No, I don't want to save here. Okay, so now let's head off to Beach Bowl Galaxy, and we're gonna do the Fast Folk Comet there. Uh, so, I think... Um, so the Fast Folk Comets, there are not a lot of Fast Folk Comets in the game. I think there are only two in the entire game, to be honest. Like, it's it's such a, a rare, like, co prankster comet to find that it isn't even, like, worth it. Because, like, even then, it's not that different. Like, the enemies move faster. Whoa! Actually, let me get this one up. Before I regret everything. Let's see, there we go. I think we're fine. Oh my god, what's this being hiccups? I have the hiccups right now. So let's see, um, so... I forgot to mention this, like, earlier, but this is probably gonna be a shorter video than... Like, um, like the other videos, because I'm just doing two prankster comments and reading the first three chapters or four of the storybook. So let's see. Let's, let's just go. Let's just go to Beach Bowl. Oh, I got, a. Um, I forgot, I forgot to, I forgot to t ask the Luma about putting the comet back. Hold on, I will be right back. Done and done. So now let's just head off to Beach Bowl Galaxy and fly! <laughs> because we've got nothing else to do. Um, fast foe comet. Oh no, prepare yourself for the danger. Fast foes on the cyclone stone. That's a that's that's smooth. Fast foes on the cyclone stone. Honestly, it doesn't look that much different. Just wait, when we land it'll probably be a little bit different, but I doubt I sincerely doubt it. Welcome to the galaxy! Welcome to your death! Assuming that it's your death. Uh, so... Man, honestly, it doesn't... It's not that much different. <laughs> like, I mean, you can... Obviously, you can tell that the enemies are moving, like, way faster than they normally do. But it doesn't really, like, get in the way that much. Let me just... Let me just wait for this guy to come. Alright, just wait. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... <laughs> maybe I'm just being too... <laughs> too cocky. Just like, oh... Uh, <laughs> it's too fast. I can beat this. This is these guys are just too fast. They got sonic speed. I can beat them. Alright, uh, go. No. Okay, I, I, uh, okay, I. Oops. Let's try again. Okay, maybe I did go a bit too far with that. Never mind. But anyways, let's just try again. Let's just see. So the bombs are easy enough. Uh, so just, uh, go! And also, we can get our one-up back, so, like, uh, just in case we die again, it's okay. We're fine. <laughs> can I, actually, can I, can I long jump to the, to the, the middle of the cyclone? Let me just, uh, yeah! No, no, bad idea! Bad idea! <laughs> this is not going as well as I wanted it to. Uh... <laughs> Oops. That's okay. That was, that was a bad start. Both times were a bad start. Clearly. But, so, I need to figure out how to get past that guy. So, I know where he goes. That's, 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 not, the, that's not a problem at all. Um, it's, just, it's just because of how fast he's going. Wait. Just wait here. And go! Wait here and jump! Oh god, oh god, oh god, go, 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 go! Let's see, okay, now we're safe for the time being. Let's just, uh, oh god! Because I don't remember this one being that, this hard, that hard. Uh, do, do those stones move faster? I don't know if those stones are moving any faster. Uh, so let's see. Okay, 
this is no problem at all. Uh, so let's, let's just keep going. Of course, we gotta keep going. We gotta go fast. No. Alright, is this the one? Okay, it is. This is the one! This is the one. Okay, stay here. This is the one. Is this the one? Yes, it is. Oh god, 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 oh god. stay, stay, stay here. Okay, I am, I am freaking the hell out. I mean, obviously, I'm freaking the hell out, but why wouldn't I? Because, look at me, I, all of these are instant death. Like, do you want instant death? Because here is instant death. All these enemies, instant death. Like, instant death is the biggest crime of the century. I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. no! Okay, but I know what to do. Um, so, I'm gonna cut this out, and I will meet you guys back here. Okay, so I made it now. Um, so this is the sweet spot. The square that I'm, that I'm on right now. No, the guy's coming right now. See? You just need a little bit of patience. I was way too cocky. Like, oh my god. I've never... Like, oh yes, I am the superior person. I can beat this with no deaths. And then look at me. I died three times. Whoops. Uh, so let's just get our prize and leave. Yay, stars and crystals. Hooray. Alright, let's go. Now let's... Let's relax. Let's just go to the storybook now and just relax. And just... I don't know how long the storybook is. Because, uh... I don't know. I legitimately forgot. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. Here we go. We got a star. Hooray. And that is it for Beach Bowl for now. Um, because it doesn't say Galaxy Complete! Uh, so let's, let's leave. Whee! Bye, Polaris! And then, wait, he's probably gonna come back. He's probably gonna be sneaking up on me like, Oh, I see you, Mario. Sneaking up on me, eh? Huh? Alright, so, let's go. Let's go, to the, let's go into the library. At least we got some. At least we got some nice music. <laughs> Let us begin with a book. Kids are into books when they're seven. All right. So again, I don't know how long this is, but I'll try to like read the story as best as I can. If I screw up, I'm sorry. Uh, so chapter one: the Celestial Duo. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still, the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then, she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The little girl and no, the girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Oh, so that's chapter one. I'm actually surprised how short it was. Not that saying that is a bad thing, which is nice. I I thought it was a lot longer for some reason. Um, so so basically, what the storybook is, it's sort of explaining Rosalina's past, I think. Um, so chapter two. Star bits. I haven't really screwed up that much, just screwed up once. Days passed with no sight of the comet, or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the, above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials, 
telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But, I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter and the girl began to pout. As long as I have starbits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay. Couldn't, oh my god. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Um, let's see. The little girl couldn't stay bad after hearing this. I'm sorry for that little like, bit, burst of laughter. Uh, so let's see. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few, a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. That's kind of interesting, like, if, if star bits taste like honey, like, how would you, would you just eat it like solid honey? I just, I'm, I'm curious. I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny there. Um, so chapter 3, The Comet. Now, I'm liking this storybook so far. Uh, a beam of light pierced through the ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun. The girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmer shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get that comet! The pair descended on the comet and found, it, it, and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with the flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down at, at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here, too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. That, oh, this chapter four. Okay, and uh, there's a fly going on my TV. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna get up, just like... It's gonna go away. Let's see, chapter four, The Dream. So I'm assuming this is the last chapter. I have no idea. Uh, one night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked. Her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you. Like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. A, wa a wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains, and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. Oh, wait for tears to dry, my bad. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, There are tears. No, these are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry. I too. Mama, oh mama, wah! The pair traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma. The rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying. The girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl held her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Okay, so it was four chapters. I was right. That should do it for today. Okay, so, yeah, I was right about them. About four chapters. I don't know, I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I... I I, just, I had a gut feeling that it was like four chapters. At least for like the chapters that we've unlocked so far. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's nine chapters, but right now we just have these four. So like you can always go back to them in the storybook if you really want to. Like, I don't know. Like 
it's not a long, like the chapters aren't long at all, and and I don't know, the story's kind of touching in some ways. If you like, like, especially if you want to like learn a bit about Rosalina, not to make some stupid fan fiction like, oh, Rosalina did this during the cosmos. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, that is it. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video, we are going to do Ghostly Galaxy. And just Ghostly Galaxy. And then after that, we're going to do whatever the Bowser place is at, at the kitchen. So shock the world and us, Amiibos. Goodbye.